Good morning, everyone. Um, happy New Year. I mean, we were three weeks in, but you know what? It's a happy new year for me to extend to Manly Lynn. This is our first webinar for 2024. So we're really excited about this. You know what? Building a blog is very, very important. Over the past two years or three years, we have been putting on these webinars um, on how to grow your business. Um, everything from we've talked about just now, you know, getting government contracts, access to capital, marketing, neurosciences, all these aspects for you to have as much information to grow your business. And we are so thankful and honored that we have Manly Lynn to put these um, webinars on to give you that information. And today is how to build a blog. And this is all part of a marketing, you know what, a marketing plan that you should have for 2024. If you don't have one, she's going to go over how to do it, and it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to turn it over to her. We have a chat going on. Put your questions in the chat. She'll take a Q&A at the end of her presentation. It is being recorded, um, and we'll get, everyone will get a copy. If it's a, a PowerPoint presentation, and Lynn usually sends it to me, and I can send it out. But right now, it is being recorded. You can go to Chamber TV, Manly Lynn. Thank you. You know, I think the world of you, we are so appreciative of everything that you have brought to the Greater New York Chamber and for all the businesses that get this information to grow their business. So thank you for doing this. Take it away. Thank you, Helena. And thank you all of you attending today's uh, webinar, vlogging. Um, so um, we know how important the social media uh, marketing right now. So blog, you can see in the past, uh, you know, business usually have a website, but um, for the past uh, few years, you can see all the websites of the business, they have a blog. Why do they need a blog on their website? Because blog can help the SEO 30% more, okay? So, um, so, but today I will just tell you, do it by yourself, building a blog for you, okay, your life and your business. So uh, you can see my email here, email address. Uh, if you need to contact me, please contact me. So what is a blog? Okay, the first thing to regularly, okay, you have to regularly update website or web page, actually. Um, what's the difference between blog and uh, uh, website? Website is formal, formal, um, website, you know, a place, platform for business actually to sell. You hope that business, you know, uh, your customers or potential customers come to your website and they can see your products. They have, a, you have function for them to pay and just buy from your company. But blog actually is a channel, is a tool for you to communicate. It's, not that formal as the website, okay? So um, blog is informal uh, than a website to communicate with customers and your potential customers. So there are different kinds of uh, blog topics and they can include everything. So you can see here, okay? Um, a lot of people, they just want to express their thoughts, their opinions, their experience, to share their personal, you know, information with everyone, or, you know, can be personal reflections, comments, and also hyperlinks, videos, and for and photographs to share with the whole world, and for the in future world, okay, um, so very important that um, you decide what would be your, you know, theme, or your main reason for a blog. But um, I encourage you uh, because this is about 10, more than 10 years ago. One 10 year old boy sent me his blog. So I just think, you know, if 10 year old boy can make a blog, I can do. So I just went to the blogger.com. And since then, I have benefited so much uh, from the blog. Um, I think I want to, you know, save. Um, the stories, the information, especially for the pandemic. I want to sh 
I'm thinking actually maybe several hundreds of years later, um, somebody wants to know what happened. Some a woman in New York um, during the pandemic, and also other. Um, I will show you. Okay, I will show you what my blog's talking about. But I just say, you know, I hope um, everyone should have this. This is like my diary um, for my family, for my friends, and for the you know people in the future uh, can see what's happening now. Okay, so and also, but today, uh, not just for yourself, and we will talk about how to use blog to for your business and also to make money. Okay, so you can have a um, blog that better than the website for sale is more personal tone and connect more deeply with your audience. So the reasons, okay, I think I already mentioned something. You share something, you're teaching something, you build an email address. I know most of the business, they need you know, an email address, a database. So you can let people subscribe your blog um, so you can get a database and also developing a personal brand as an expert so people know you are an expert in your industry of course they will come to you okay when they have questions or they need um, you know advice also the last one selling okay we will talk about that you can sell in your product and services on your blog too and everything can combine in your blog world. So how to build a blogging business? Actually, um, first things, you can have a long-term audience. Uh, you know, now like YouTubers, you know, they make a lot of money just by uh, you blog, the blogger, YouTuber, okay? So if you build a long-term audience, you can start that too. And also you can have, you put your value valuable contents, then uh, you can see, you know, develop actually maybe a business that you never thought about because you see your audience needs something, okay? And you can provide that. You can help them to solve their problem, improve their lives, or just make them happy. And then they need your, you know, information, you know, services or products in the future. A lot of bloggers, uh, actually, they, they, become a business owner because they see there is a need okay, for something that they can do for their clients. But you need a strategy, okay? Um, it's not just every day you think about something, you just post there. So we will talk about that later. Um, fulfilling, okay? But also you need to have, you know, make a commitment. Um, a lot of people tell me, say, I'm busy enough. But I don't have time to do that. Actually, like um, I just spend maybe five minutes every day uh, to update my information, but you don't need that. So you just let your um, audience know how often that you will update your information. Um, but that's a way that you understand your you know, your audience. For example, uh, you know, maybe Friday evening, they read your blog or weekend or working days. So, and at what time, okay? So for example, maybe the young people that you want to reach out, they usually come, you know, at midnight, during the midnight. Uh, and then housewives maybe, you know, in the morning after they send their kids to school. And then a lot of uh, men, most of uh, the time, they they will come to the computer uh, you know, in the afternoon. So that's the way that you can find out who your audience are, um, audience is, okay? But you can divide them to different groups um, that you can communicate with different tone, different languages with you know, different groups. So be consistent and persistent, okay? In the beginning, they don't know you have a blog, so you need to uh, do the marketing for your blog too. But uh, consistent, actually, uh, you, will, you will get a big uh, audience, uh, but it's not a number of uh, how many you know, of your followers. It's important that they are the one 
uh, you really want to reach, like ideal clients, ideal customers for the future, okay? Uh, so need time and ideas. I feel ideas is more important. Right now, uh, I think everybody have different social media platform. You can post uh, at the same time all together, okay? So it's not just blog that will spend that more of your time. The other things you have to find a niche, okay? you're choosing a specific audience to focus on, okay? So maybe you have different blog. I encourage you actually, uh, if you have different topics, different purpose, uh, you should have different blogs. Like, like I have more than 10 blogs, okay? Focus on different things because I saw a lot of bloggers, they just put everything together. Um, people don't have time or don't have patience uh, to find what they are looking for. So you make it simple, easier for them to find what they are looking for, that's important. And then the second one, you have to create a content that readers cannot easily find elsewhere. So that's your niche, okay? But I think most of the topics some already have so many bloggers that they talk about. So how can you make your blog uh, different, okay, from others? So maybe you can focus on a specific location. We are lucky, actually, we are in New York. So people like to know New York, what's happening in New York. So, you know, especially if you are in those fashions that New York, you know, tourist industry, uh, you talk about those. Uh, you can, on your blog, you should emphasize, okay, it's not just the fashion, it's New York fashion. And then, also, you can uh, focus on a specific segment. Uh, for example, so many recipes already um, you know, on the blogs. So why your recipe is different? Okay, so maybe uh, your food is for specific um, groups of people, maybe people with diabetes. So it depends on what you can offer them. But focus on a uh, target uh, groups first, uh, the same as marketing. Uh, strategy, okay. Uh, then you can you can contact uh, have different blogs for different groups. The next one is you can use um, different style or voice, okay. So talk about maybe you know serious topics, but you use some sense of humor, uh, so it will be different. Just some. Um, I think right now we follow a lot of people on social media. Why you keep following somebody? Okay, so that person must have something attractive. Just think about it. Okay, think about those things that you want to attract your customers. Um, your customers will be impressed, uh, will follow you because of that. That's your niche. Okay. Um, so, of course, the quality is most important things. Okay, so you should provide you know, in-depth um, post of a topic because people get so much, too much information. Too much information right now. So you need to provide something that not everybody talk about. So topics I list here. So maybe think about what you want to you know, talk about. Maybe all of them, but if you have time, okay. So I put it here for you, for your references. Um, how to make money with your blog, okay? There are different ways. So readers, okay? Be before you want to attract of people come to your blog, and then they will subscribe your blog, and then they will become buyers, and then will be, they will become the fans, okay? They will refer people to your website, they will introduce you, they will share your blog with uh, the people they know. So you can make money uh, blogging by first selling physical products, okay? That depends on what you want to sell, okay? So that right now, we know have a lot of t-shirts or everything, your creation, even your artwork, even you use me, journey, okay? I know a lot of um, artists actually right now, they use um, Meet Journey, create a lot of artworks they sell online. Um, there are different platforms, okay? But your blog, is, especially I think, can 
um, be the branding, okay? Be your brand. So you can have your name and people will follow you. The second one, sell digital products like resume, photos, or designs, okay, that you create. So those are digital products, including use AI, okay? Use AI to create artworks right now. The third one is writing, uh, consulting, and design. Writing is not write article or you write essays okay, for, for students. You should know, uh, right now, actually, a lot of business, they need description uh, for their product or services or their content. I know that a lot of people just argue, say, you know, right now they use AI, but um, I think um, have humans, uh, they, of course, we have our value. So let people write um, the contents or something uh, where sometimes uh, it would be the specialty of your products. And then the next one, you can publish a book and sell it uh, as a physical or digital product right now. Uh, then uh, the next one is most of the money come in uh, if you are a blogger is uh, you can affiliate uh, for another brand and make a commission that every time you sell their products. Later, I will introduce you. Blogger.com have that function. Uh, you can choose whatever products or brand that you you allow them to put on your blog, and then you can get commission. The last one is doing paid in uh, reviews or promotion for brands. Okay, so this is all the way that you can uh, make money. But first, uh, you need to um, accumulate, okay, to build up a good data foundation, have people, you have a good audience. They want to see how many um, people follow you. So this is uh, what you, this is um, the AdSense, okay? So if you want to um, get commission from other, you know, uh, brands, companies, products, but you should choose the one that actually similar uh, clients you want to attract, okay? So when you, um, you know, put an advertisement for them, actually, you know, those people um, maybe will also buy your product or services. So that's some um, extra, extra benefits for just get, you know, then uh, more than just get a commission. Your guide to AdSense. So this is the, all the questions, details. Uh, I will show you where you can get to this uh, point. So how to start a blog from a blogger, okay? So uh, this is a lot of bloggers. Uh, I just um, collect their information with you. Uh, first thing everybody say, you have to decide the niche, okay? Second one, pick your blog name, domain name, okay? so. Uh, of course, you, today I'm going to talk about blogger.com. It's free. Um, then uh, you can, right now, you can buy your domain domain name too. But uh, of course, you can use others. The third one, uh, you know, technically start a blog. Most people, I know a lot of people use WordPress, okay? And then you select a WordPress thing. Uh, they have a template. Then you create contents that convert, okay? So uh, number six, then you have to promote your content and get traffic to your site. Use different social media platform, at least here. Uh, seven, make money with blogging, advertising, okay? At least all other um, social media platform here for you. Uh, if you haven't tried, but of course, right now, because AI, so a lot of uh, new programs come up, there's hundreds. So um, actually, I'm I'm waiting, okay, to see maybe after a while, um, what fewer, okay, fewer those AI platforms will be better, they can survive and because they are better, okay. So 10 tips for you. Um, Sell, you can self-hosted blog, okay? And then you can have a professional looking website. I put it here. Uh, you can put there on their, on their platform. 
and uh, knowing which social media help you. So I, I list all those, um, you know, I think people have the Pinterest, uh, you know, Instagram and YouTube, just depends on um, the audience you want to reach out. And think about readers. This I think is number four is very important. Um, of course, you want to build something you like to, you know, to show, to share. But you have to think about your readers, not yourself only. Okay, so focus on helping them solve a problem. If um, you no, know, if that's one of your intention, and also maybe for your business future. Uh, and number five, you can search post titles. Okay, um, there is one blogger suggest. Uh, she say, you know, if your titles like uh, your blog titles. Put a number there can attract um, more attention. I I think that's true. Okay, uh, because too many words and sometimes people they they just be tired uh, uh, to see that. But so if you put a, something special, a number or a sign there, maybe can attract different people. Number six, taking a course. Uh, today I will introduce the uh, blogger.com. They have a community that you can um. Discuss with the all the bloggers here. Okay, um, they use that so they can discuss. Uh, and they have some events too. Number seven, uh, advertising. Um, you should, you know, actually, um, a lot of um other platform. Okay, um, we know Amazon is the biggest one. Okay, so you can uh, your own products. You can put under there. Number eight, know your ROI. Uh, you spend time, you spend you know, energy. Uh, so you should know that actually it's worth that to continue or not. Uh, but I just tell you, just keep it going. Maybe sometimes you're busy, um, but you just let, you just uh, make up that, okay? Those times, let people know what's happening. So maybe you're going to travel or, or have some you know, different other projects. Uh, this month you don't have time, but I suggest you um, right now people don't have time to read. And also for you, unless you use uh, you know, uh, chat GPT uh, so often, you can write a lot of things, but actually people don't have time. So photo or video, okay? Photo, use photo and video can save you a lot of words. Number nine, uh, readers, they're smart. So the contents really, uh, is the one that they will follow, okay? And number 10, um, they, of course, there are other, you should have a podcast uh, and YouTube and the TikTok, those uh, fashion, okay? Uh, I think from time to time, you will see different social media platform. They will play uh, more important for some of the, you know, like use. Uh, so it depends on who you want to attract. Uh, you want so you should decide uh, what you should use. So here, okay, today my purpose is to show you how to build one. So I hope that after today, today have a you know Friday, so weekend you you have uh, time to build your blog. So I want to show you. So later when I explain, you will understand. So on the top, okay, that's the title of my blog. I use my own name because. And then uh, below it is uh, you know, a description of your blog. So why you have this blog? What's this uh, blog about? So you put there. So after that, you know, there are different uh, layout. Later I will show you, but I just explained, you can see I picked the simple one. Uh, only have two columns, left and right. Some of the blog I feel is too complicated. When I get into some people's uh, blogs, I get lost. Uh, so I think you know, um, make make life simple, uh, easier, uh, or be happier. Okay. So on the left side, um, every day I post a new post. Yeah, I use photos a lot. Okay, and then you put uh, the title for every day. So what's the title? So for me is I put a um, you know um the the days okay and what's the main uh, activities that day on the right side 
are you no know, on the right side is all the information that you want to uh, keep there forever. It means no matter when or where or what time people come to your blog, they can see all the information on the right side, on the right column, okay? So um, I will show you what I have on the right side. On the right side, I have the link uh, to the other blogs, okay? And then uh, below that is my introduce my books, okay? The books that I pu published. And then um, this is my published articles, okay? And then the last one is um, I have a Chinese school. I um, I established a school, Chinese school for those uh, American parents adopt children from China. So um, I feel they are very special in my heart. So I'd like everybody to know about that um, school and program, okay? So this is my second one. Uh, the, first, the first one I put up, too much information because that's my that's my first one. Okay, then I realized I you know I want to separate them. So now uh, this is the second one. I put it by year, every year. You know, every year I have three hundred sixty five posts. Okay, posts. So I think it's easy. So you can see all my layout um are the same, uh, just different colors, different backgrounds. So I choose this uh, style so people know that's my style. Um, I know um, unless you have other topics, like I have some blogs um, for my artworks, uh, so I have a different design. But I think, you know, if you have the same uh, themes, uh, same topics, you should keep uh, the same uh, format, so layout, so people know that's you, okay? So this is different color. This is third one. Uh, this is the fourth one. So the, this one I change a little bit. Um, and the first one is the background. I choose uh, some uh, design. Later I will show you how to do that. And also I change, uh, normally I put a photo, say please click on the photo so you can go to my other blocks. But uh, now I just just list them, okay? So it's easier because people already know me. My audience already follow me, so they know um, how to, you know those other blocks. And then um, the labels, okay? Then the next one, you can see I change um, the top, not just use colors. I can use some design. Um, and this is all. I choose the different uh, backgrounds. This is um, the next one, number eight. It depends on the years, okay? So you can see the same style. This is a different background, okay? So this is the one for the new year, 2024, okay? Just want to show you. Um, the the reason I post these photos is I, uh, I was surprised to find out the AI can smile for me. You see my photo on the left side are my photos. On the right side, AI can change my photos uh, to smiling face. So um, I, I um, during the pandemic, actually, um, I'm interested in uh, you know, learn about the the self, uh, you know, like those uh, selfie design and beautify the photo or design different photos. Uh, so I hope that in the future, I will have my own uh, beautify um, programs, the apps uh, to help people to um, beautify their photos um, for your home families or for the business. Also, the other things are good about um, blogger.com they can transfer uh, your blog in different format in your cell phone, okay, I um, other mobile devices. So I can show you on the left side, okay, automatically, you don't have to do anything, okay. Usually I design, I post my um, you know, everyday new post on computer, it's easier to look at. But automatically, if you see the left side, you can see, they only show the left column, means every day the new thing, okay? They will show that 
um, it's beautiful actually. Um, but if people they still want to see the two both columns, like the right side, okay, they can go down uh, to the bottom of that post and see a view web version, okay? View web version, so they can see um, the both of the color. Okay, so it's really a uh, good design. You don't have to do anything. So now is the time. Okay, I want to share you how to create your blog step by step. And please share your blog with me, okay, after you create your first one. So you just go to uh, blogger.com, okay? And then you can see um, maybe different colors, okay? Create your blog, okay, like here. Uh, create blog, uh, sometimes they have different pictures, but just click on uh, the create your blog. Then choose the perfect design. So you can choose uh, the design, okay? You can uh, get a free domain, okay? This is free, it's blogspot.com. That's a free domain. But if you want to buy a domain name, like, you know, change to your business name or your personal name, you can do that. Uh, earn money, okay? If you're interested to um, earn money with your blog and know your audience, they have all the data to tell you how many people visit your blog, where they are, okay, what times, um, those um, information can help you improve your blog and hang on your memories. Of course, uh, I think um, for me, um, I created a blog for my father, um, but when he passed away, you know, um, I can share his lives with uh, everybody. So I think that's uh, great things to do. I encourage all the families that uh, should have uh, their blog together. Uh, it's a time, it's a family uh, activities to have a blog together. And I think especially for kids, for teenagers, you know, um, I think the parents should work with your kids uh, to create blog. Let them uh, just uh, be careful what they post on social media. Um, and, you know, because um, when they apply for college or apply for jobs in the future, uh, those are important. It's a, it's a valuable uh, assets, actually. Uh, people know that they can build their blogs and also they can see the contents that know uh, is a good candidate, okay? So uh, the best things, actually, this is something new, um, not really so new, okay? Already have about seven, eight years. So you can join millions of others, all um, blogger, okay, that use the blogger.com. Means this is a, a community too, okay? So you can join them and discuss, um, you know, what problem, what ideas, or you can partner with somebody else. Okay, now um, you, after you click on the create a blog, you will see this, okay? They want you enter your email. You need to have an account, right? So they um, they hope that you can have the Gmail, okay? But if you don't have, you just create a Google account, okay? Specifically for your blog. Um, you can have more than one uh, Google account. So I, I suggest you just have one specific for your blog. Um, don't mix up with your nails or something. So now you will go to uh, these um, procedures, um, create a new blog. Okay, the, the first thing is your title. So please, please uh, consider, okay, really uh, finalize uh, your, your title because this is the only thing you cannot change later. Anything else, all the design, uh, no, you can change anytime you like. I will show you later, but you cannot change your title. So please uh, make sure you know what you want to be your title, okay? And the next one is uh, address. That's the, your blog um, address, okay? So this is um, the first one I create. Um, I, I was teaching blogging 
at um, Brooklyn Library. So they have a computer room. I have students there. We um, create this together. They use uh, their computer. So the address, you know, you can use different one, okay, for yourself or for easy for other people to remember um, your your blog uh, address, okay. So we, we decide we want to have the title is uh, let us connect it. So um, we use the same one, but you can use different one, okay, different um, words for your blog. And then dot blogspot.com, that's a free domain. Uh, if you want to have your business domain name, you can buy it. I think it's very um, inexpensive one. Okay? Only, uh, I think, less than $10. Maybe now it's less than $20. Okay, you can check that. So next step, then you can see after I click on it, you can see the titles there. Okay? Then uh, all, the, um, all the choices, on the left, okay, my blogs. So they have different thing. I choose a ten. So template. I want to choose a template. So here you can see. Um, uh, you can have the um, you can choose the template. Go to the next one. You can see they have a different template. You can choose from okay, a different thing. So after we choose, actually, you can see they show you right away what it looked like, okay? So now advanced, I choose advanced. Uh, you can customize. You choose a template, then you can customize. Uh, I use the advanced. So you, you can see all the um, items, template, background. So this is the background. You can choose different uh, color, different uh, different design okay so so this is the background they have a different image so you can choose that and they show you right away so you can see you know it's good or not okay then this is the old background but I suggest you uh, because you want people read or see your product see your design see your content not those beautiful designs. So don't choose some some design uh, is get more attention than your post. Okay, so should be uh, can help you uh, look, you know, your blog look better. So uh, just try different things, but do not worry too much. Actually, you can change anytime. Okay, anytime that you want to change, um, they will just convert you know, all, they will transfer all the information to the new blog. So do not worry about the design. So this is the same thing, okay, background. I just want to show you uh, that time I feel amazed, it's so beautiful, okay. So now this one is important, uh, adjust the width, okay. Remember I mentioned there are two columns or two columns on my blog, okay. Um, the left side, so you can see here, they have two, um, you can press on the cursor and move um, left to right. So they will show you, um, you want um, the left column wider or narrower, okay? So you can, so two, uh, two columns, they will show two uh, lines for you to adjust. So that you can make it narrower or you can make it wider. So you can change that anytime. So next one you have to choose is layout, okay? There are different layout, but I suggest you don't choose too much uh, complicated one. So I choose the uh, the simple simple one, okay? Then uh, the, this is uh, the advanced, okay? Advanced means you can design anything. Uh, the second the second column here, okay? You can choose, um, the fonts, the colors, the um, the frame um, of your post. Okay, so you can you can choose according to they they tell you which one you want to choose. Okay, so this one the body uh, text. Okay, it means your text font and the color. Okay, so each of them. So it's a fun project for for us. Okay, I think right now 
the best things uh, to prevent to get uh, dementia or Alzheimer is create a block. You can you can think every day. You can have uh, something interesting every day. Uh, share with yourself. And then the next one, uh, okay, it's background too. So each of the uh, things you items that you choose, they show you right away. So you can see, you know, you choose your color. You say, no, that's not what I want. Then you go to uh, the next one. Okay, so this is all the items you can choose, and they show you right away uh, what changed. Okay. So now I want to share with you every day or every time, doesn't have to every day, but um, I think you let your audience know, maybe every Friday uh, you update or every other day. So uh, just let your audience know uh, how frequent uh, you will update your information. So new post, okay, so usually, so I will share with you when you click on the you know, share, um, you choose a um, new post. This is what I do every night. So um, first things, you can add image, okay? You can upload. When you upload, they say download files. Uh, so you can choose from your computer or other um, website. Actually, uh, even blogger.com, they have other, um, some photos to share. Then after you share, you see the left uh, bottom uh, part, select, okay? The blue color, select. So I will show you what happened. Okay, you can insert image. Uh, you can upload from computer. Um, so you just click on the, you, the sign, okay? Have the two mountains. That's uh, how you upload your photos. Okay, you can choose uh, JPG or GIF or you know PNG files. So that's really really convenient. So after so this is uh, the Brooklyn Library photo. Okay, so we uh, upload those. Um, then we click on select. So you will see it become this. Okay, the the show there. Then you can modify or you can now design what you like them to read uh, or to look. So you click on the photo and they will show you, you want to move to the left or middle or center or right side, you will make it larger or smaller, okay? And most important things is um, description, okay? Um, so you should you know have something about that photo, you should uh, write something. Okay. Then this one moved to the left because I choose uh, to the left and the right, uh, the location of um, this uh, Army Plaza. So this is a show up, you know, have the note and also uh, change the location. So now we go back to the page, okay? Uh, go back to the blog. They say view, view the blog. It will look like that in the library. So uh, oh, this is uh, something misplaced. So what now uh, you can see the web, uh, the blog is like this, okay? The first thing is your title, the page title means uh, the new blog title. On, on the right side, actually, they also show you, okay, um, the same one. So later I will show you how to do that. Uh, it will show, automatically there. You have to type in the title and the right side you can um, copy and paste to the right side. So we'll list. So um, now uh, I want to share with you because um, that's the way um, that I, I do every day. But um, yesterday actually, I want to see if they change something. So um, I try, okay. so. If you build the first, uh, create your first block, and then you want to create, build other blocks, okay? Um, it's much, much simpler, okay? When you uh, just go to, uh, you click on a new block on the left side, uh, not this one, okay? When you already have a block, and on the left side, um, the bottom of it will say new block, then you click on it, means you want to build another blog, 
they will come up this on the left side. The first thing you steal, you choose the thing, okay? Um, then uh, here, I choose the, the one simple block. So you can preview, this is a preview, the big picture, or you can customize that, or you can apply, okay? After you customize, you can apply. So let's see, so this is, um. Here, if you click customize, they will come here. You can uh, remove the image, means you don't want the background um, picture and the, the design. Uh, you can change the image, change to other design. And uh, the second row, you can change color thing. Okay, it means you like the design, but you want to change to different color. So this is the background. Now you can choose the background image. Um, so I just show you select the background image. I choose this one and then it will become like this, okay? And then um, new one, then the next step is adjust the, your width, okay? So the same thing as the create a block. So layout, same thing, you choose the one. So this is um the, okay, this is um your fund. Okay, your font and the color you want those fonts. So they simplify um, it. Um, so you don't have to spend a lot of time doing the advanced. I think it's better. Okay. Um, so now you um, advanced is uh, you choose the font and the text color. Okay. So now uh, the new post, I uh, just want to show you this is the, I think um, the, they, um, they upgrade the information, uh, the the procedure. You um, new post means every every time you want to have a new post. The first things you enter your title. Like actually, uh, this will be today. Okay, so last night I did for today. Uh, then uh, you can see uh, the contents. Um, they show one, two, three, four. So you can type. Okay, you can type. Um, whatever you want to share the information the writing uh, then you will um, upload the photo okay then you select so it will come and then after you click select it will show you you want uh, the size of the, the photo or um, where the you no know, uh, you want to put the center or left or right okay so i choose the center then will show up like this. They don't show the photo itself uh, right now. They will show those uh, codes, okay? So, but you can go um, to the bottom left side, it says view blog, then you can see your blog, what see. Okay, on the right side, I want to uh, just remind you, remember I say you have to type your title, then you copy and paste on the right side, have the labels, okay? That will show on your right column so you can find the topic, okay? So um, after you copy and paste, please uh, add a comma. If you add a comma, uh, this uh, label will uh, be separated from others. Otherwise, we will just continue, okay? So put a comma. And then uh, the final procedure is you just click on publish. You click on publish. They will say uh, publish post. Then so you click on confirm. Yes. So you can see, okay. And then uh, you can view the blog. Okay. At the bottom, actually, you can choose view the blog. So you can see I already create today's uh, you know, post here. Okay. Um, usually I um, usually I type what I do uh, today, the events I have, and then post the photos, okay? So this is a, take, um, in the beginning, maybe you need uh, 20 minutes, but I think after a while, you only need five minutes, okay? Now um, you have to uh, do the setting and the promotion for your blog. So there are different, uh, on the left side, you can see um, they have the overview, okay? So you come to the overview and then uh, you can see get a custom domain, okay? If you want to um, 
you know, use uh, your business name or your personal name as the um, title, okay? Then uh, you can buy now. You see the product buy now. Okay, click on that. And then this is, um, uh, can grow your audience. Right now, all the platform website, they, um, they, they, they always say, you will say, oh, if you pay $5, you can reach out to a certain amount of a uh, certain number of uh, people. Okay, that's your choice. Okay, it depends on if, if you um, want to reach out more. And then uh, now it's important, earn money from your blog. Okay, so you have to set up Google AdSense. Okay, AdSense, like I showed you in the beginning uh, that if you want to um, do that. Then uh, turn your passion into profits, means uh, you can do the advertise, advertising. They tell you how it works. You can choose um, whatever um, other brands that you think would be good, okay? Um, good reputation and um, also you have the same customers, okay? The customers you want to attract. So so then uh, this is all the questions here uh, about you know how you can choose, how they'll pay you, okay? If you um, get a commission. So now uh, you go to um, here, it's basic setting, okay? Just uh, answer, just check, okay? You even can uh, change your languages, okay? Uh, here, how many, um, how many posts show, um, show on a page, okay? So um, the comments, okay? Same thing as a blog, uh, as a website, people can send you a comment. You can say anyone or you can limit. Uh, so that's your choice. So just follow this uh, to each of the uh, setting, okay? The post, the comments, uh, just, just remember to protect yourself, okay? Don't have, um, you can have other people. Um, if you build uh, this blog for your business, you can have more people uh, to post, okay? or allow people to just post. They can just send an email and post on blog automatically. You don't have to do that. Do that uh, you know, on the computer. You can just send an email, they can post it. Also here, Google Plus comments, they can uh, share to Google Plus. I think uh, right now, maybe they don't that function uh, or, or sometimes off and on. Uh, languages you can choose, okay? And also the time zone. Uh, so this can reach out to the global market. I, maybe you can have different blogs for different uh, continents or different countries, okay? Um, this is all other settings. Just please uh, do not delete blog. Okay, this is the only thing do not touch. Okay, do not delete your blog. But unless maybe you want to build a new one, better one, so you can uh, delete that one. So here, okay, uh, oh, okay, open IDs. Um, I think in the future when, um, I, I know Google right now is working on their AI, I think that a, a lot of uh, AI tools will add uh, will be added to this uh, blogger.com. The best things I think you already realize uh, blogger.com is under Google. Okay, so um, you know how powerful Google is right now. You know that people do everything they go to Google, right? So your computer, your blog actually, um, if you people can find you, people can search and find you. And they have a help center here, okay? So it depends on uh, what's your questions here uh, or what what help you need, you can choose that. Um, this is really great and you can talk to a robot too. Um, help community, I mentioned that actually all the bloggers, actually they have a community here. So um, they share the information, okay? If they have a new idea or they are looking for uh, help or they can, they are looking for partner, 
research, you know, fiber machines, and if you can find a lot of uh, useful information for you. So uh, I feel, you know, it's great that you can learn something every day from people doing the same thing as you. Okay, so um, I know it's uh, I know it's really uh, valuable benefit uh, can benefit everyone in the future. So um, I think right now maybe you don't have a question yet. Okay. What are some tips about how to mention and post a commentary on other people's articles, products, business without ownership of contents? Um, how to mention and post commentary to other people's article? You can write down that. You know, remember, um, we have so many YouTubers. They just uh, evaluate other, other. Um, products similar to them, even the toys, okay? I, I think the most famous the boy that actually he uh, he just uh, value, grade uh, other, you know, all the toys for other products. So it depends on, if you want to do that, uh, you have to consider, okay? Um, what's the reason you do that, okay? Unless that you really, um, because you will get some, Brands or products, maybe they were they were fight with you, argue with you. Okay, so uh, but if you're a professional, you know you really, for example, you are an expert in uh, one product. Of course, you should do that. Okay, and build up your reputation that you are an expert uh, in that in that industry or products. That's a good thing. Uh, is it not advised to use your company Gmail for the blog if it's in the same field as your company? Um, to not use your company Gmail for the blog. It depends, okay? It depends for you. If you are the owner, um, then of course I mentioned that you can even have you or have a team, okay, with your staff. Um, all of your steps, uh, or you can uh, designate uh, a few ste you know, staff members, uh, they can also post there, okay? So um, then that belong to the company. So, um, but I mentioned that you can have more than, uh, more than one Gmail account. So you can, you can choose. Then uh, every time, for example, if I have two Gmail address, Every time when I get in, they will say, uh, choose a, a which um, Gmail address you want to use. Yeah. Separate that. I think um, you know, company Gmails from your personal Gmails is a smart move, okay? Someone, real quick, should they use the blog enabled on their website or have a separate blog? Oh, okay. I mentioned that in the beginning. Now yeah. if you go to even uh, Amazon, okay? Uh, all the business um, website, they all have an item icon called blog. So relate, uh, so connect that to their blog. The reason that the blog, if you have a blog on your website can help your uh, website SEO 30% because blog have a lot of keywords, have more keywords. Uh, because website usually you just sell. And so you focus on your product and services, right? And um, But blog can include different uh, contents, different keywords, so it can help uh, your website's you know, SEO 30% more, okay? Um, uh, someone had a question. I think it's, it's uh, publishing, you know, do they have the get? Do they have to get permission to use someone's book title as a blog's name? I think that's. I think uh, everybody know the answer. Okay, um, right now we really have to respect other um, people's work. Um, we know that. I just want to share with you when I was in a graduate school, um, one of the um, students. Uh, He's from foreign countries, so he didn't know that in, when he uses somebody, quote somebody else's um, you know, information, he, he should reveal from where. 
So he didn't um, because he, in his culture, he didn't know about that. So the school actually won't let her, won't let, won't let him graduate. So that time I was the president of the, the student's uh, organization. So I have to go to the, the meeting, okay, to negotiate with the school, say, because he's a cultural reason, he doesn't know about that. Uh, so give him time, like give him three days uh, to find those uh, quotes from the resources. I think we, uh, right now, you know, AI can do everything for us. That's scary. So, um, of course, we should respect, um, you know, other people's, uh, you know, their wisdom, their writing, their designs. So, um, you can, the best thing is you get permission. You get permission from that person. So, the other things I want to remind is uh, if, you if you are a business owner, you hire somebody to design your website. You have to make sure if that designer, if you are some the, that person, they use somebody else's design or even video, okay, um, or anything, pictures, they have to get permission because business owner will be the one be finalized, okay? If uh, somebody sue you, um, you, you will be punishment actually. So be careful about that. Especially now, um, I think the you know government will have more rules come out to protect. Uh, so right now it's still not uh, really clear, but um, just pre just protect ourselves and also respect others' words. So true. There's a lot. There's a lot of information out there and articles about that. Mm -hmm. So thank you. You know what, Manly. Thank you so much. This was so informative. Um, I was actually taking <laughs> taking notes for the chamber. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Man Lee. I will forward the email to her. It is on Chamber TV and uh, she'll send me over the PowerPoint presentation. If you have any questions about the chamber, feel free to, you know, at chamber.nyc. Uh, next Tuesday, online networking at 10 o'clock. Next Wednesday, in-person networking at Power Lunch. And we have a lot of great uh, webinars uh, coming up in January, February, and March. Again, with Manly Lynn. So we so appreciate what she brings to the Greater New York Chamber and our partnership with the SBA. Thank you so much, Manly. Everyone, be safe. It's I see it's snowing out. So just um, have a great weekend. And... We'll talk to you soon. Again, have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. And again, thank you, Man Lee. Thank you all. Have a good weekend. And send me your blog. Share your blog with us. <laughs> there you go. Bye, everyone.